This is a must watch video if you're a pond owner and waterfowl enthusiast. We're going to show you how easy it is to broadcast duck food out of an exposed pond bottom that will be attracting the ducks all season long. Let's go plant another one. We've got the rice and millet loaded up. Just met with Mr. Matt Peterson. Uh, reminder, we're doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway and Peterson's Wildlife is sponsoring that. Thank you again, Matt. If you're not subscribed, hit the button. That way you don't miss out on that. We've got another farm pond to plant. We've got two bags of rice, a bag of Japanese millet. Even after six inches of rainfall in the last eight days, I think the pond should still be in plenty good shape. To get the rice sowed. The rice could be thrown into the standing water, so water level should not be a problem, even if it's up a little bit. It's gonna be a hot one, definitely gonna be muddy, but this should be fun. Let's go get it done. Like to think this is a good omen. We've got wood ducks on the pond. It's almost like they know we're gonna feed them. Scoping out his target. We were a little worried about all the rain and sure enough, it looks like an absolute muddy mess. So we're gonna call an audible here, kick it old school, use some good old fashioned elbow grease. I'm gonna be famous. He's gonna be famous. Kids from ages three to eight will know you worldwide. <laughs> we'll come back to that mill along that little high ground. Yeah, mule. Yeah, that spreader actually is great for launching it. Yeah, I bet that is millet coming back up. Bunch of it too. Yeah, because if any of this drains off at all, it'll come up. That's the beauty of rice over millet, is the millet floats. So you can't do this. Oh, the rice, sink? rice sinks, yep. The millet floats. Oh, yeah, look at it. Yep. And actually soaking for a day or two until it drains back off is a good thing. The other thing is all that organic from last year will actually help this year. Richard, just throw it thin wherever you think we might have missed anything. Just filling in the gaps with that millet. Because we don't, we don't want the millet to outcompete the rice. So just dust it real gentle. That pond dammer is slipping snot. Yeah, that's what I was telling Richard. I didn't want him going down it. We'd have to pull Richard out of the pond with the full wheeler. That might be bus central. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt myself for a count of them. Oh, sh <laughs> well, yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna leave that to the professionals. I know Brandy walked across that thing like a Well, he's like a nimble house cat. I'm in it now. I already got all this real good. Time. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and I can see millet coming all up too. Of course, the final touch. Got it knocked out. I'm gonna save the rest of that millet for the rice swamp to touch up a few areas. I would say that is mission accomplished. Acre and a half farm pond, 100 pounds of rice, about 30 pounds of Japanese millet. There's actually even volunteer millet from last year coming up already. So we've already got a crop well ahead of us. So all that rice broadcasted into that mud and into the standing water should be off to the races. That makes three plantings this year for ducks. Two swamps have been set in rice, and now a farm pond has been set in rice and Japanese millet. Hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. They're a lot of fun to make. A little hot, a little sweaty, but it is always fun getting out here with friends and family, getting seed in the ground, teaching the kids, and having fun doing it. As always, thank you guys for watching. God bless. Take care.